Hey there, it's Amelia. In this video, we'll take a look at advanced functions. In addition to common functions such as sum, average, count, max, and min, there are over 400 other types of functions available in a range of categories. So let's take a look. In the Home tab of the ribbon, here on the right, next to Auto Sum, I'm going to click on this pull-down menu, and then I'm going to select More Functions, and then the Insert Function dialog box displays. So from here, the most recently used functions list here in this box, but there's a lot more than what you see here. You can find a function a couple other ways. You could either type one or more search terms in the box here, which I'll do in a moment, or you can select by category. So if I click on this drop down, you could see that there's a whole uh, array of categories here. So for instance, if I wanted to see financial, there's a lot there. And if I wanted to look at logical, there are some there. So in this example, what I'm going to do is behind this dialog box, you could see that there's a to-do list and there's a start date and a due date for these different tasks. So I want to calculate the number of days between these two dates. So I'm going to look for the days function. So I search for that down here. It shows you two things, the syntax, which is the name of the function. And then what you need is the end date comma start date. And this particular function returns the number of days between two dates. So I've already positioned the cursor behind here in the cell that I want to start the function in, which is F3. So I want to go ahead and click OK. And the next thing I have to do is specify the cell coordinate for the end date and the start date. Now, um, sometimes the dialog box is over top of what you need to select as far as the cell. And if you want to collapse the dialog box temporarily, you can click on this up arrow and it will just kind of shrink down and you can go ahead and click the cell that contains the end date, which in this case is the due date. And then if I want to get back to the full dialog box, I click on the down arrow here for start date, which is in here. I don't really have to collapse it because I can see behind here. I'm going to go ahead and click on E3. Okay. And let me go ahead and click OK. So it did calculate the number of days, which is seven. And now I want to just copy this uh, down and I'm going to use uh, my favorite uh, drag and copy. So when I position on the bottom right and see my thin black cross, I can press and drag down. And now I have duplicated that particular uh, function for the rest of the cells. Okay, so that's just one of hundreds of functions. And let's look at a few more examples. Here you see um, a few more, including the today function, which returns the current date and no cell references are needed. The syntax is actually equals today, left parentheses, right parentheses. And then there's time, which returns the current time. And then we already looked at days. And next we're going to look at the concatenate function. Okay, so for the concatenate example, I've switched over to another worksheet, which has first name and last name separated in addition to the title. So I want to use the concatenate function to uh, join the several text strings into one string. So first I'm going to go ahead and click in the destination cell and I'm going to click on this drop down here and select more functions and concatenate is something that I recently used. So it is listed here in the most recently used function list. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and click OK. OK, so as you can see, this is an example of a time where I need to either move the dialog box by pointing and dragging. Um, the other thing I could do is if I need to see more of the worksheet, I can click on this uh, up arrow here to collapse the dialog box and then click back on the down arrow to bring the dialog box back. So in this case, I need to join several strings, including title, first name and last name. And we also want to include 
uh, a space in between those text strings as well. Okay, so the first text string is going to be the title, so I'll just uh, click, go ahead and click on B3. And then next I need a literal, I need a space. So I need to put that in double quotes, so I'm going to put double quotes, space, and another double quote. And then next, I want to point to first name, which is D3 here. And next, I need another literal. So I need double quote, space, another double quote. And finally, last name. And I press OK. And voila! The title, first name, and last name has been joined as one text string. And because I use the literals with the space in between, I have spaces in between the different text strings. Now remember, there's lots more functions, over 400 available, and this is just a small sampling. Well, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.